Okay, it says find the second derivative of w in terms of w. So I have this, I need to find a derivative. So I say the second derivative one over twenty five is a multiplying constant. The derivative of w would be dw over dt. The derivative of 300 would be 0. Now, they're a little tricky on this problem uh, because if you stop here, you won't get the point because it says in terms of w. So now we have to plug in what dw over dt is. So we'd say 1 over 25. Then 1 over 25 again, w minus 300. Uh, if you have that in purple right here, you don't have to have a box, that's one point. Use that second derivative to determine whether your answer in part A is an underestimate or overestimate. Okay, I remember something from the golden notes. When I am using a tangent line to approximate something, what I'm concerned about is whether the tangent line is concave up or is the tangent line concave down. If the tangent line, sorry, if the curve is concave up. If the curve is concave up, my tangent line approximation will lie below the curve. If my curve is concave down, draw a concave down curve here, my curve is concave down, then my curve will lie below the tangent line. So I just need to figure out whether W is concave up or concave down, because this is what I'm trying to answer. Is my tangent approximation from part A an underestimate or overestimate? So W is the curve. Here's my second derivative. If the second derivative is positive, then W will be concave up. Well, right here at time equal zero, the value of W is 1400. And they tell me that W is increasing. So, if I plug in 1400 or any number bigger than 1400, this second derivative is going to be positive. So, I write d squared W over dt squared is positive. I guess I can just say is positive greater than zero. Same thing is positive for t greater than or equal to zero. So w is concave up, you can abbreviate, for t greater than or equal to zero. Then you can simply copy this statement off the back of the golden notes. Since WT is concave up, so the tangent approximation is an underestimate. So you'd have to have um, both of these. You have to have justification and then the statement. If you have this information, you get another point. So the second point.